Hello, Anthropology 120 Yale Laboratory students. Welcome back. Uh, this is a little mini, mini lecture on skeletal anatomy, uh, but really what it is an introduction to the workbook to tell you what I want you to be looking for and specifically for what you want to grade. This is more or less a, an exam sort of head up. Um, so why I, I do want you to do all the questions I've outlined and the exercises in the workbook. Um, you know, what I'm really going to be looking for you is looking for competency on understanding the skeleton. You know, what is bone? What is the function of the skeleton? and how to identify specific bones in the skeleton. Um, this can be one of the more daunting tasks of our class, um, because when you're looking at a skeleton, you go, how many of them are there? Well, a lot, you know, all the 200 bones in the body. Uh, we have to think about how to make this task easier on us to memorize. Well, first to consider is the body is asymmetrical. We have bilateral symmetry. In other words, the left side is a mirror image to the right side. So over half the bones have a left and right component with the same names, right? So once you learn like this bone over here, like the, the radius, um, you have a left and a right, so you only have to learn it once. Now, other parts of the body, um, there isn't this sense of bilateral symmetry, the axial skeleton, the stuff down the middle. Um, and when it comes to sort of memorizing those bones, um, we're not gonna work on an individual bone basis necessarily. Like you'll never see a question like, um, uh, which lumbar vertebrae is that one if I put it out in front of you? It would be ridiculous for me to ask you that. But what I would like to you to know are how many vertebrae do you have? You know, 24. Um, which types do you have? Well, lumbar, thoracic, and cervical. I want you to put it in general categories. Um, the same thing with the other smaller bones of the body, such as the bones of the wrist, the, um, the carpal bones. Um, you know, I'm not going to ask you the individual names of each one of these carpal bones, but you should have a tally on how many, such as seven, or the bones of tarsals, right? The small bones of the feet, these bones in here. Uh, while there are seven of these, I don't want you to know the individual names. I want you to know the category, the tarsal. I want you to know how many of them that there are, right? Um, now, for the rest of the body, um, I, I do. I want you to pick out a, a bone like this and realize it's a humerus, right? Or you have the ulna and the radia. Um, understand that the ribs are, 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 I don't want you to be able to separate individual ribs, but understand exactly how many of each you actually have. In addition to that, we want to think about too, is the differences between the solid bone and the cartilaginous part of the skeleton, such as the manubrium and the sternum as being cartilaginous, right? And the cartilage in between all of the ribs um, is being costal cartilage, intercostal cartilage. So be aware where cartilage is and where bone is, the two differences. Um, what I'm going to be doing is, in the next video, I'm going to be showing up, we're going to be working on something very specific, though, and something I'm really going to target, and that's going to be bones of the skull. If there's anything that's important to anthropologists and things that matter most to us many times, it's the skeletal anatomy. These are the changes that we're going to see in the human lineage. And so we're going to work, you know, in a very detailed way of memorizing all of the bones in the head. Now, to get ready for this, um, what I've done is I posted on our website uh, places where you can go and actually get help. Um, and by help, I mean apps. So um, there are many really, really good apps that are out there. Um, I think Skeletal 3D, I, I have actually, I have it posted in the link to it. If you'll get that app, um, you can actually get a, a, a colored view of all of skeletal anatomy, which you can rotate into 3D. It's highly useful and I highly recommend understanding it. Um, prepare for another video. I'll probably post another one this evening or tomorrow morning and more specifically on the skull. Talk to you guys later. Bye.